how would you how would you um rank this ele ele electoral process as far as uh, the political environment is for women politicians how would you how would you describe it uh, i would describe it as progressive mm. uh, first of all because uh, this is my first this was my first yeah. time to run. Mm. and uh, when i came in everybody said what has become of you politics i would never dream uh, but it wasn't as bad as i expected uh, first of all, we have so many non-governmental organizations, also NDI, Transparency International, they've all come together to support the cause of women in yeah. this country. Yeah. And they did a tremendous uh, job in ensuring that we got equipped training-wise, we got equipped on the unexpected, we got equipped on how to handle, you know, the campaign process all the way through. So that was very, very good, and I think that's why we had a, a huge number uh, of women turning up. Uh, then um, the second uh, thing that was good for the women is that uh, a lot of women also stepped forward uh, because we've been called flower girls for a long time. And I think we that title must fade away and fade as far away as possible. So many women joined in from the corporate world. Um, we were all meeting in different uh, functions and fraternities and we were able to interact and realize that we were all fighting for one goal, mm -hmm. a goal of being included at the table. Because most decisions that, that are taken without yeah. women, we have shortcomings with those decisions. And uh, I am happy in Kenya Kwanzaa that the president-elect, uh, uh, Dr. Ruto, has promised and confirmed on several occasions that his government is going to have 50% women, which is the highest stake you'll ever get. Yeah. We pray that that is realized. Uh, and of course, once the whole process of the court cases yeah. is over, yeah. we'll see that come into play. Yeah. And that is going to elevate the woman. So what women have realized is that, okay, you know what, we can do it. Yeah. And we can do it without necessarily having to pat someone's back. The only shortcomings for the women is the financial aspect of it. Because once you get out there into the uh, field, it becomes a social support process okay. campaign as opposed to you just going and campaigning and going away. You, uh, because when people look at you, they can easily give you their problems. Your fellow women are telling you, my child hasn't been to school. Okay. Uh, your fellow woman is telling you that, oh, my uh, daughter is sick. Uh, you are meeting a disabled mother whose child has never received the payment uh, from the government, the 3,000 shillings per month for the past three years. So now you become a social support as opposed to using your little funds to campaign. Mm -hmm. And there is not any support for women in terms of funding when it comes to these campaigns. So that is where the disadvantage is, that how do we now propel these women as smart as they are, as brave as they are, and as clever as they are, how do we now support them to make sure that they actually clinch these seats? Uh, congratulations to my fellow women, particularly the governors. Yeah. They did a good job, tremendously good job, because that was very, very competitive. Equally to the members of parliament, the 26 that have been uh, elected, yeah. I would have loved to be one of them, but it wasn't my time quite. And so I congratulate my fellow women who have, because those competitive seats, governor, uh, MP, MCA, they are extremely, extremely competitive. And so you will find that the male counterparts, they tend to pour a lot of money into the campaigns. And they are the ones that caused this, uh, the campaigns to be expensive. Because if the campaigns were not that expensive, we wouldn't be where we are. Mm -hmm. Because if they are telling you that you cannot host a meeting mm -hmm. until you are able to reimburse the people you are hosting the meeting for. If you see anybody hosting a meeting of 200 people, be sure that the person did not spend them less than 20,000. That is just the bare minimum. So how many meetings of you, those can you sustain throughout the campaign period mm -hmm. for a lady? Mm -hmm. So it becomes very, very hard. And then at the same time, the, also the dimension has shifted mm -hmm. that the voter wants to resonate with you. Mm -hmm. They want to talk to you face to face. So do you do door to door? Yes, you are doing door to door. But the more you do door to door, the more you have to make sure you have something to give for Ugali. Mm -hmm. Because in the city, politics is different from the city in Mashinani. Mm -hmm. Uh, because there, you don't have to give somebody unga ya ugali. 
most of them they have food mm. they can be able to fend for themselves they can be able to listen to you but in the city you are talking to somebody who actually doesn't know what they are going to eat tonight so if you are showing up door to door they will also say na mambo tatuacha hivyo bure so your humanity as the woman and as the mother nature calls it you'll say okay may i make sure if i'm going to do my door to door let me carry even unga ya ugali let me carry something let me carry milk for the babies okay. so that at least i'm able to give something back so th- that is the expense of the process it is quite expensive. expensive where do the women get this money it is unfathomable because we are looking at the bare minimum 20 million kenyan shillings to start with mm-hmm. where would you get that kind of money so that process is expensive and that's where a lot of women were shying away so what can we say that all the bodies that are preparing the women and supporting women we don't necessarily ask for the future for funding but what i would advocate for is to support these women with branded materials just support them if you support them with branded materials lessos t-shirts cups uh it will help in terms of them visibility because in my case i did a lot of campaigns but visibility was poor okay. yeah because i had to choose where do you put your money do you put it on billboards or do you put it on the actual campaigns mm-hmm. to make sure that people actually resonate with you so it becomes very expensive mm-hmm. yeah, yeah.